Hi, my name's Alistair Chapman and I've been running workshops on Sony's XDCAM EX camcorders and also the HDV product line. And one of the questions that's being asked a lot in those workshops is, which one is right for me, HDV or XDCAM EX? They're similar sort of price range, very similar products in many respects, but there are some key differences and I'm going to go through some of those differences in this very short little video. One of the first things to consider is that the XDCAM EX cameras are entirely file based. There's no provision within the camera for recording to tape. The cameras record to a solid state memory card called an S by S card. The S by S cards are very, very reliable. You can actually take one out of the camera while you're recording and that clip will not get lost. It won't get corrupted. There are methods and processes in place that means that the recordings are very, very robust. It does, however, mean that you have to back up your material. The cards are relatively expensive. So when you get back to the studio, you're going to want to back up the material from the card onto something like a pair of hard drives, optical discs, or possibly even tape. So there is some added complexity to the workflow. But the strongest point of the XDCAM EX cameras is their picture quality. It is simply superb and probably the best around at the moment in this small format. The cameras have three sensors in an optical block and then 1920 by 1080 full resolution. No trickery used to get that resolution. And they're half inch sensors, so they're quite a large sensor. And the advantage of having a large sensor is that you get better low light performance, you have less noise, high dynamic range. So the pictures really are very, very good. They, they, the EX cameras are comparable to much larger cameras in terms of picture quality. In addition, they have a 35 megabit per second codec. So it's a higher bit rate than HDV. And that means that the codec and the pictures are more robust in post-production. You can do more with them before you start to see any artifacts or other issues. And indeed, quite a few broadcasters now are accepting XDCAM EX as a tool for HD broadcast program making, which is not really the case with HDV. You can use HDV, but it's very highly governed and very much more restricted. Now, another thing with the EX cameras to remember is that they are HD only. The cameras do not record in standard definition. You can get standard definition out of the uh, component or composite connectors, as well as out of the SDI connector. And if you use an external box, such as a nano flash, you could use the camera to output standard definition over the SDI connector and record standard definition on the external box. But the camera itself essentially records HD only. Now the HDV cameras, on the other hand, they can record either HD or standard definition in either DV or DV cam mode. So straight away you have an advantage there in terms of flexibility in that you can have one camera that will do HD and SD recording to tape. And the beauty of tape, of course, is you take the tape out of the camera, you put it on the, sh on the shelf, and there's your archive straight away. No need to mess around trying to back stuff up. But that ties you to a tape-based workflow. And tapes are affected by humidity, by moisture, by dust. They can suffer from dropouts and other picture glitches. And it's a real-time process. You cannot get the material off the tape into your edit suite faster than real playback time. But Sony now have a very clever little box, and it's this. This is the MRC-1K, and it's a compact flash recorder that clips onto the back of Sony's current camcorder line and allows you to record HDV or DV onto compact flash cards. And all the information about this, whether it's recording and what the compact flash card is doing, is displayed in the LCD screen of the viewfinder. However, it does come with an adapter that clips on the back of here, and that allows you to use it with just about any HDV or DV camcorder. So this is a very flexible and very versatile little tool all of its own. So now you have the advantage of being able to record onto both HDV on tape or DV on tape, as well as HDV or DV on a compact flash card. So you have a hybrid workflow. So you have your tape for archive, and then you have the solid state compact flash for speed and ease of use. And there are other tricks you can do too. 
By using an MRC1K on the back of an HDV camcorder, you can record HD onto the HDV tape, and then by setting the iLink output to be standard definition, you can record to standard definition at the same time using the MRC1K. And there are other features the MRC1K has, including time-lapse and cache record, so a very powerful little box. The only downside to it really is that it uses compact flashcards, and compact flashcards are consumer medium, it's not a professional grade medium, um, and you can get corruption. The cards are not as high quality as the S by S cards used in the EX. Uh, for example, an EX card you can pull out of the camera mid-recording or you could take the battery off mid-recording and that clip will still be perfectly okay, no problems at all. Try doing that with a compact flash card in an MRC1K and you're likely to get corruption and quite possibly lose some of your footage. So there are differences in terms of reliability, but then a compact flash card is quite a bit cheaper than an S by S card. So there are pros and cons to both. Unlike the EX cameras, HDV cameras don't record at full resolution. They only record at 1440 by 1080. It's still very high quality and it's still HD, but it's not quite the full resolution 1920 1080 of the EX cameras. So there's a slight drop in quality with the HDV cameras. And in addition to that, the bit rate is lower. HDV records at 25 megabits per second, so it's a slightly lower bit rate, and that means you just have to be a little bit more careful in your post-production process to avoid any excess artifacts and things like that. So which do you choose, HDV or XDCAM EX? It's not an easy choice. HDV has incredible flexibility. You have tape, so your archive is there straight out of the camera, you have the ability to shoot standard definition. And if you're doing a lot of standard definition work, probably HDV is the one for you. But you do have that lovely flexibility with one camera of being able to shoot HD, SD, to tape, or to compact flash card via the MRC1K. But ultimately, if picture quality is your main thing, if you want that ultimate, that best possible picture quality, then the choice simply has to be the XDCAM EX cameras. The EX1, EX3 have remarkable picture quality that rivals cameras that are three, even four times the cost.